सो हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अभय झा एंड माई रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज ट्वेंटी बी आई वन जीरो थ्री वन एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट नैन टू डेट इज प्रोजेक्ट नंबर थ्री सो फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक डॉक्टर अब्दुल कादिर सर हु हैज़ गिवन मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू द नैन टू डेट इज कोर्स द कोर्स हैज़ गिवन मी एन इंसाइट इन कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स सो आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक सर एंड मूविंग ऑन Uh, now we are at uh, nan to tetris project 3 and it requires us to build different chips uh, basically different sequential chips like single bit register then 16 bit register program counter and uh, different ram chips so uh, also it assumes that uh, we can use all the chips that we made in our previous projects the project 1 and project 2 and uh we can use the basic chips uh, like the nand and d flip flop which are given to us so moving on uh here we have the same hardware simulator uh which comes in the nand to tetris software suite and uh we have three types of files the hdl the txt and the cmp file and we can load the test file which in turn loads the hdl file and does the comparison so moving on now we have uh, the first chip in this project which is a single bit register so let's see how we can make this so first here we have a d flip flop and uh, here we are sending a clock signal to this because this is a sequential chip and here we have a multiplexer so here we are giving input uh, to the multiplexer and the second input to the multiplexer is actually the output of the uh, d flip flop itself and we are uh, giving the load uh, as the select line of the multiplexer so what happens as the clock goes on if we change the load bit uh, to one suppose then it will uh, send the input to the flip flop and in the next clock cycle if we change the load to 0 what will happen is that it will not send the input anymore to the d flip flop and basically it will send the uh, output of the d flip flop again to itself so we can change the value of d flip flop by using the load uh, signal and uh, if we don't want we can switch the load to low and uh, the flip flop will basically retain its own uh, value and uh, that is what we get as the output so the same thing is implemented using a multiplexer and a d flip flop over here in hdl and this is the uh, comparison done in the hardware simulator now moving on we have the register which is actually a 16 bit register so here we are using 16 single bit registers uh, which we made earlier over here and we are connecting them uh, like we are having a 16 bit input bus so we are connecting the first bit of the bus and then then the second bit of the bus and so on to get 16 different outputs so basically there are 16 different registers single bit registers in this 16 bit register and here we are having this um, comparison which we have done in the hardware simulator so now the next chip is the program counter and this is an important chip because this uh, is what the computer uses to uh, count uh, at which line of uh, the program it is currently pointing at so in this chip we have a register and we have three different multiplexers so the first multiplexer is called the load multiplexer so uh, as we can see from the diagram that if we set this load Uh, as high then what it will do is that it will use the input the current input which we are sending and uh, it uh, sends this input and it is sent to the register so it basically changes the value of the register now there is one more uh, multiplexer which is the reset multiplexer and one pin is connected to ground and one pin is connected to the output of the previous multiplexer the load multiplexer so what happens is when we set the reset uh, bit to high it will basically ground the value of the register so it will reset the value of the register it will set it to zero 
and so that we can restart the program and also we have the third uh, multiplexer which is the increment multiplexer and what happens is that um, the load of this register is set to VCC so it is always on so we can change uh, uh, this based on uh, what we are doing with these three multiplexers uh, so what we are doing over here is this is the increment multiplexer so one of its uh, values is the output of the register itself and the second value is the incremented value of the output of uh, the value stored in this register so we can select using uh, so we can select using this increment uh, bit if we set it to high what it will do is uh, the current value of the register it will increment by one so this is the incrementer chip basically so uh, which we made in our previous project so this basically increments the value by one and sends it back and which is again the output of this is sent through these two and if uh, say suppose uh, nothing is over here so it will go on and it will be stored in the register so normally if only increment is given and rest are zero so what it will do is basically it will simply increment in each clock cycle the value which is stored in this register and it will give that as output so normally that happens in a pro program counter so 0 1 2 3 4 like as time goes on and we um, basically select the 0 1 2 3 4 and different lines of program sequentially so uh, one more thing is given that if we set the reset uh, then this will be set to 0 so we can restart the program and also uh, this is the load thing so we can load a specific value by setting this load um, uh, pin so, uh, so if we set a value 1 over here then we can set a specific input value to this register so for example we want to begin at a specific line of the program so we can do that also so this is what the program counter is so the same thing we have implemented here in the SDL using a register which is actually a 16-bit register because this is a 16-bit program counter as we can see uh, uh, by the input uh, buses and here is a 16-bit incrementer and 16-bit three multiplexers and um, uh, according to this we have uh, actually uh, used this uh, thing and uh, according to this diagram we have um, written this HDL code and over here we have done the hardware simulation and uh, it passed all the uh, comparisons and uh, this is what is from the program counter so next we move on to the ram 8 chip so basically what it does is it connects eight different 16 bit registers using a demultiplexer and a multiplexer so what happens is that one address line is given and one uh, load uh, signal is given to this demultiplexer so based on this address line what it does is that it selects one of these eight registers and it loads the value uh, into one of these registers uh, if the load bit is high uh, then um, the input value which is going from here we can load it in uh, any one of these registers based on the address value and similarly we can fetch the output of this uh, these eight registers any one of them we can select and get the output using this multiplexer because the same address is uh, sent to this multiplexer also so this is how the actual ram chip works and uh, even in an operating system we have algorithms uh, which uh, send uh, uh, these addresses and select uh, these uh, registers and get the values or modify accordingly mm -hmm. so this is how we have implemented this we have used um, eight 16 bit registers and one eight way demultiplexer because here there are eight of them and um, eight way 16 bit multiplexers uh, so uh, we are getting the output through the multiplexer or minus to one so here is the hdl uh, simulation in the hardware simulator and it has basically passed the comparison so moving on to ram 64 so ram 64 is nothing but uh, 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 
actually uh, this is a combination of eight different ram eights so we have eight into eight is equal to 64 so the same thing is implemented over here we have again an eight way uh, demultiplexer and we have eight different ram eight chips so in the previous thing we had eight different registers but here we have eight different ram eight which we made earlier this one so we are using eight different those chips and we are passing three to five uh, bits of the address line into that chip and one and uh, zero and uh, one and two the three bits of the uh, input uh, address line we are using to basically uh, split it into eight different uh, signals and send it to these different 8 RAM chips and similarly we are using 8 way 16 bit uh, multiplexer to get the output and similarly we are doing for RAM 512 again we are using 8 uh, RAM 64 chips and the same thing we have done exactly same so uh, only the address uh, bus changes as we can see uh, but uh, rest all things uh, basically remain the same and uh, we have implemented the ram 512 using 8 ram 64 chips that is because 64 into 8 is equal to 512 and similarly uh, we move on for ram 4k as well because 512 into 8 is again 4k so we implemented the same logic we just uh, we are uh, incrementing the address line by three bits because the address line is increasing because we are using bigger chips over here so that's the only difference and rest all things are same and here um, the hardware simulator is also uh, showing us the correct comparison now ram 16 so uh, now here is one difference because this is ram 16 and not ram 32 so here uh, actually we have uh, used four different uh, ram uh, chips uh, so actually uh, here is some mistake in this code uh, actually here uh, we have four different ram chips so i hope uh, you will see the modified code over here so um, here four different ram uh, chips are there and we have used uh, from 2 to uh, 13 uh, the uh, address lines over here and we have used uh, 0 to 1 the two bits of the address line uh, in the four way demultiplexer and uh, similarly we have used the first uh, two uh, bits of the address line in the multiplexer four way 16 bit multiplexer so that's the difference here we have the four way 16 bit uh, multiplexer and we have uh, four way demultiplexer and just four of ram 8 chips so that's uh, for ram 16 and here is the uh, comparison file we have done uh, comparison here in the hardware simulator and it has successfully completed the comparison uh, so that's all from nan to tetris project 3 so thank you for sticking till the end uh, thank you so much